Hi, welcome to my video. My name's Linda and today I'm just going to share with you my five minute daily routine. Literally how I get through one day's planning, that's it. Um, so, so what you're looking at at the moment is my monthly overview. I generally start in the monthly because I copy and paste. Um, I put the little pictures on the outside because at the end of the each month, alternate month, I delete my dailies and I just keep my monthly as a like an overview. First thing I'm going to do is zoom in on today and I'm going to copy everything that is on it like so, literally copy. Then I'm going to tap on the today, which is number 25, and there we are. And I'm gonna paste it just outside of my planner because I do something else first. Now at the top, I've got a previous and a next. I go to previous, which is yesterday, and I copy, um, well, I don't copy, I'll share with you. So I'm gonna select all. Uh, using the rectangle selection tool and at the top left hand side on the wheel cog I'm going to tap on it and I'm going to scroll up until I get to my great selection now Ed brought this in a month or so ago um, if your planner is dated and set up for dates um, you can migrate selections from days to months to weeks it's fantastic and rather than copy and paste, I just migrate a whole day because it puts it right back in the same place. It's perfect. It's just an absolute perfect copy. And then all I do is I delete anything I don't want, like so. Um, everything else I keep because I manoeuvre that as I go. But my actual planner section, um, I delete. Now, can you see on my on my events section... Um, here, I'll just circle it for you. My event section, it's highlighted in blue. Um, I've done that through the Z at the top. And if you go to events, there's a part that says um, highlight today. That one there. How brilliant is that? And you can change your colour. I've selected my calendar, my, you know, my palette calendar um, colours. But you can do any colour you like. Um, Ed has a video on that, so um, I would highly recommend having a little look. But what we're going to do now is everything I brought in, I'm going to put in today. So I'm expecting, um, let's just delete that. So what I've done here is I've just copied over the uh, link button from the monthly calendar. And I know I've copied it because every single link button I ever do, I always put a shadow on it. Um, and that's my way of recognising where I've added a link. So if you have a little look over here, there's a link here. There's a link here. Um, there is actually, although it's faint, a link on there. And there is a link on here. So can you see there's a shadow to the left? So anything with a shadow is an indicator to me that there is a link on it. Um, and all I'm going to do is bring these down. Oops, tap and place them. Now, this is a notification, so I'll just put that at the top. Um, sometimes I put it over here to the left, but, you know, it's a preference thing on the day. Um, I do need to do a birthday card, so I'm going to put that in after chores, probably one o'clock this afternoon. And um, I'm doing my video now, so I'm going to put that in there because it's quarter to eight in the morning. Now, on the left-hand side... If you look closely, I've got colour codes. Now, the colour codes is an indicator of my timing slots. Uh, pink is personal time. Orange is chores, as in house chores. And I have those here under daily tracker. So my daily sort of like routine, really. OK, then I have pink for lunch. Blue is urgent. That's my top priorities. I do green for my to do's and pink for personal time so it's sort of like a time slotted events um, set out so I know I've got to fill it in and over here under my available hours is how I keep track now on a really busy day I stick to this rigidly but on a flexible day like today where we're in lockdown and I've shut my shop and it's a lot more 
gentle. The days are a lot, a lot more gentle. I'm not too overly worried, but I'm just going to rub those out and I'll share with you how I do that in a moment. And I'm going to rub out everything else that I don't need. Don't need that. Don't need that. Rub that out. And that's it for now. So every day I do a chore. Monday is Hoover and the bed. And all I do is select it and I copy and paste it over into the orange selection there. All it is is just a little colour. It's just a polygon uh, shaded in with um, opacity down to 50%. That's it. That's how I do that. Um, I'll show you actually. So if I get a polygon, draw it in. There we go. And then go to it and I'm going to do a fill and I'm going to fill, go to the main palette with, uh, let's do a green one because um, I, I can actually do some to do's. Um, actually, I like that one. Fill. Whoops. I don't want a border. So I'll take the border off. And there we are. And I'm going to put that in there. So I know I can fit in some to-dos. Um, priority is Laura's birthday card. I'm going to rub that out because that little arrow indicated I had to carry forward. Um, so I've actually placed that down there. And also I wanted to check out this local arts and crafts. I'm going to put that down as a to-do today under priority because that's another source of income. I'm just investigating at the moment because my shop is shut. OK, so on my normal lists, I have like this little checkbox. Can you see under the text? So this is a little checkbox that I tap once complete. Um, but this one doesn't have it, so I'm going to add it in. And the way I do that is tap on text and tap where you want it to go. And at the bottom, there is a little bullet style. Just scroll up, tap on the bullet scroll style do one space shrink it if you don't do the space it doesn't let you tap on it so you need to do one space and then I just put that in there so once it's done I can tap it so that's how I do that it's my way of I mean I know people highlight do whatever um, but that's how I do that then I'm going to have a little look at my daily tracker put today's date in um, using my pen tool I like to use the gel and I have some saved preferences which is that one and today's date is the 25th okay so I've already done my search uh, my Dartmouth search um, my mood tracker I've got set to the daily tracker can you see this is um, got um, a grey shadow so if I tap on it it takes me to a my organizer uh, which is a totally different document and here it is this is my organizer so if i go to um, front welcome front page there we are so basically i had one planner with this inside it and i've split it in zoom notes i've made it two documents because it was getting too weighty so this way my planner is separate and I can just add to add a new planner next year. But my organiser stays the same because in my organiser I have an A to Z, which is getting very full. And I would hate to have to copy and paste it into a new one. So that's why I've got that. So if I go to T for tracker, today is the 25th and I'm feeling quite upbeat and energised. I think I'm going to get a lot done today. So I'm going to just copy onto the 25th. So... There we are. So um, I don't know if you noticed, I'm just going to go back there, but I had pop up create revisions and I have a yes. And if you go to Z at the top, revisions are at the bottom. Now, I highly recommend using revisions, um, switching revisions on because enabled. If, oops, Daisy, if you by any chance lose a document or it crashes or lots of things happen, I have a revision I can just go back on. And if I go to the list, that's getting quite big now. I, I generally don't really bin it until I get to about 50. But um, it's a really good backup. And it saved my bacon a few times. So definitely 
highly recommend revisions. And I've got that for both my documents. So if I tap on the um, um, on the side there, whoops, sorry. So if I if I tap on my actual um, spiral binder, that takes me to my planner. And if I tap on the spiral binder of my planner, it takes me to my organizer. It's just the way I set up my polygons. Um, if you tap outside your document, you can see lots of rare red pop ups. That's an indicator of where your polygons are. So you know that you've got polygons in those points if you tap on it. OK, so that's a nifty tip. Right. What else have I got? So I'm looking at my times. Um, I'm going to write in my times so that it gives you an indicator of what we're doing. I don't normally do this. I just count them up. OK, so I've got two pinks, um, one pink, one there. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six there. And then I add them up. So I've got six, seven, nine hours of personal time. At the top there, I've got 15 hours in total. Um, so chore time, I've got an hour and a half. Uh, I've got top priorities, so I think I'll probably spend an hour on that document. I'll spend an hour making a birthday card, so that's two. Two hours on top priorities. Then I add that up. 9, 10, 11, 12, 30. And I take that away from 15, and whatever is left is what I've got for my availables. So, mm. so that's two hours, 30 left for to do okay so I know I've got two hours 30 left in the to do section if I just move that up so it takes me an hour for that one an hour for that one shrink that and that is how I know how much time I've got left okay so I've got a few green bands there. This will be my lunch break. Right, so looking at my tracker, I've done my mood tracker and I said I'm feeling quite energised. So this is my saved buttons. I'll just tap on the blue on that one. Um, I've taken my vitamins. I've checked my Etsy shop, which actually is closed, which is why I put a line through it. And I won't open probably until lockdown is finished. Um, social media, and I'm doing my video now. I haven't taken any exercise yet, but I'm hoping to go for a walk later in the slushy snow. It's definitely a Monday Hoover bed day. I haven't done it yet. I'll do that later. So that's when I will do my Hoover bedtime. All right. And that is pretty much... Um, my daily set out. Um, I can choose anything from the uh, to do's in the green section. I'm going to have a little look at ideas for next year because I could do with some new projects and I'll probably do that here too. So be a couple of things that I could add there. And that is how I plan my day. I hope it's given you some ideas and um, helps you with your day. Now, generally, this only takes me five minutes. Be aware of that. But today I've shared a little bit more with you. So hope you've enjoyed that and it's helpful. Thank you. Bye.